Sir Khawaja Nazimuddin Urdu Khwaj Nazimu Aldan Bengali Khaja Najimuddina the 19th of July 1894 to the 22nd of October 1964 KCIE C was a Bengali politician conservative figure and one of the leading founding fathers of Pakistan He is noted as being the first Bengali leader of Pakistan who led the country as prime minister 1951 to 53 as well as the second governor general 1948 to 51 born into an aristocrat nawab family in Bengal in 1894 he was educated at the Aligarh Muslim University before pursuing his education at the Cambridge University to secure his graduation Upon returning, he started his political career on a Muslim League platform where he primarily focused on education causes in Bengal before leading the cause for separate Muslim homeland, Pakistan, under the leadership of Muhammad Ali Jinnah. From 1943 to 45, he served as the Prime Minister of Bengal and later becoming the Chief Minister in 1947 until 1948 when he ascended as Governor General after Jinnah's passing. In 1951, he took over the control of the government as Prime Minister of Pakistan upon the assassination of Liaquat Ali Khan, and relinquished the post of Governor General to Sir Malik Ghulam. As Prime Minister, he struggled to run the government effectively on the internal and foreign fronts, and thus he tenured for only two years. On the home front, he struggled to maintain law and order in the country and instructed the military to impose martial law in Lahore due to religious riots and stagnation. He also faced a populist language movement in his native Bengal that eventually led to the shutdown of government of East Pakistan. Foreign relations with the United States, Soviet Union, Afghanistan, and India soured as republicanism and socialism gained popularity at home. Eventually, he was forced to step down in favor of diplomat Muhammad Ali Bogra by his own appointed Governor-General Sir Malik Ghulam and conceded defeat in elections held in 1954. Upon retiring from national politics, he suffered a brief illness and died in 1964. He was buried at a mausoleum in Dhaka. Biography Family background, early life and education Nazimuddin was born into an aristocratic and wealthy family of the Nawabs of Dhaka, Dhaka, Bengal, on 19 July 1894. He was the maternal grandson of Nawab Sir Khwaja Asanullah and his mother, Bilquis Bano, was notable for her own statue. Nazimuddin had a younger brother, Khwaja Shahabuddin, who would later play a vital role in national politics onwards. Being of Kashmiri Bengali descent, his family spoke both Urdu and Bengali. They were the first cousin of Nawab Khwaja Habibullah son of Nawab Sir Khwaja Salimullah Bahadur who helped laid foundation of Muslim League in 1906. He was educated at the Dunstable Grammar School in England but returned to India following his matriculation where he enrolled to attend the Mao College of the Aligarh Muslim University AMU in Uttar Pradesh, India. Nazimuddin secured his graduation with a BA degree in sociology from AMU and was sent back to England to pursue higher education. During his time at AMU, he was known to be an avid tennis player and excelled in this sport when he represented his university in collegiate games. After AMU, Nazimuddin went to England and attended Trinity College at Cambridge University. He was granted his MA degree in English by Cambridge University. His training in England enabled him to practice law and become a barrister at law in England. He was knighted in 1934. In 1947-49, Nazimuddin was granted the degree of Doctor of Laws by the Vice-Chancellor of Dhaka University, Dr. Mahmud Hassan. Politics Topic public service and independence movement Nazimuddin returned to India to join his brother Khwaja Shabuddin from England, taking interest in civil and public affairs that led him to join the Bengali politics. Both brother joined the Muslim League, and Nazimuddin successfully ran for the municipality election and elected as chairman of Dhaka municipality from 1922 until 1929. 
During this time, he was appointed as Education Minister and later secured a political appointment in Viceroy's Executive Council in 1934, which he served until 1937. He participated in regional elections held on 1937 on a Muslim League's platform but conceded his defeat in favor of Thazlul Haq of Krishak Praja Part, KPP, who was appointed as Prime Minister of Bengal, while assuming his personal role as member of the Legislative Assembly. In the India Office Records, Political and Secret Department records 1756 to 1950 category L P and S record 5 250th 379th one comes across the fortnightly report February 1947 to the viceroy by the then governor of Punjab Sir Evan Jenkins According to this report when inquired about the Pakistan project, Kawaja Nazimuddin candidly told him that he did not know what Pakistan means and that nobody in the Muslim League knew. This remark clearly shows that so few as six months before the creation of Pakistan, even senior Muslim League leaders had no clarity as to the basic features of the state they were asking for. Home and Prime Minister of Bengal and Chief Minister of East Bengal 1940 Upon the formation of the coalition government in an agreement facilitated between Muslim League and the Krishak Praja Party, Nazimuddin was appointed as the Home Minister under Hawke's premiership, which he continued until 1943. Due to his conservative elite position, he became close associate of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, then President of Muslim League, who appointed him as a member of the Executive Committee to successfully promote Muslim League party agenda and program that gained popularity in East Bengal. In 1940–41, Nazimuddin broke away from the coalition led by Premier Fazlul Haq and decided to become a leader of the opposition, leading campaign against Haq's premiership and primarily focused on Bengali nationalism issues. In 1943, Nazimuddin took over the government from Premier Haq when the latter was dismissed by the Governor John Herbert amid controversies surrounding in his political campaigns. During this time, Nazimuddin played a crucial political role for the cause for the separate Muslim homeland, Pakistan. About his role, he was asked about the ''Pakistan question'' by British Governor Richard Casey in 1945 but he showed very little and no interests in discussing the existence of the movement and reportedly quoting, he did not know what Pakistan means and nobody in Muslim League knew. His premiership lasted until 1945 when a motion of no confidence and faced with defeat in the Assembly Hall by 160 to 97 votes that effectively ended his premiership. He relinquished the office to Nasher Ali, an Indian nationalist Muslim and a prominent member of Congress party who the Speaker of the Assembly, but the administration was taken over by Hussein Shahid Surawardi. From 1945 to 47, Sir Nazimuddin continued to be served as the chairman of the Muslim League in Bengal, ardently supporting the political cause for Pakistan against the Congress party. During this time, he had been in brief conflict with Premier Surawardi and strongly opposed the United Bengal movement and led a strong parliamentary opposition in the Assembly against Surawardi's administration in April 1947. The conflict between two men mainly existed because Surawardi had represented the middle class while Nazimuddin was representing the aristocracy in the Assembly. In 1947, he again contested in the party elections in the Muslim League against Surawardi's platform and securing his nomination as the party chairman for the Muslim League's East Bengal chapter. His success in the party election eventually led him to be appointed as the first Chief Minister of East Bengal after the partition of India in 1947 and effectively gained control of the Muslim League in the province. As the Chief Minister, he led the motion of confidence that ultimately voted in favour of joining the Federation of Pakistan and reorganised the government of East Pakistan by delegating Conservative members in his administration. Governor General of Pakistan 1948 On 14 August of 1947, Governor General Muhammad Ali Jinnah relinquished the party presidency of the Pakistan Muslim League PML to Kawaja Nazimuddin who took over the party of President of Pakistan Muslim League PML, due to his party electoral performance. On 1 November 1947, he was appointed as acting Governor-General in the absence of Governor-General Jinnah due to worsening health, and eventually appointed as Governor-General after passing of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, in a crucial support provided by Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan on 14 September 1948 to the President Nazimuddin. 
His oath of office was supervised by Chief Justice Sir Abdul Rashid of the Supreme Court of Pakistan. In attendance with Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan, as Governor General, Nazimuddin set a precedent of neutrality and non interference in the government, and provided his political support to Prime Minister Liaquat Ali Khan's government, which was seen as essential to the working of the responsible government at that time. His role as Governor General reflected a conservative mindset and he spoke against secularism in the country. I do not agree that religion is a private affair of the individual nor do I agree that in an Islamic state every citizen has identical rights, no matter what his caste, creed or faith be. In 1949, Governor-General Nazimuddin established the Parliamentary Committee, the Basic Principles Committee, on the advice of Prime Minister Ali Khan to underlying basic principles that would lay foundation of Constitution of Pakistan. In 1950, Nazimuddin released an official policy statement and declared that, Pakistan would remain incomplete until the whole of Kashmir is liberated. <laughs> Prime Minister of Pakistan 1951 <laughs> <laughs> Nazimuddin administration After the assassination of Liaquat Ali Khan in 1951, the Muslim League leaders asked Governor-General Nazimuddin to take over the business of the government as well as the party's presidency as there was no other person found suitable for the post. He appointed Finance Minister Sir Malik Ghulam as Governor-General's post. Nazimuddin's government focused towards promoting the political programs aimed towards conservative ideas. During his time in office, a framework was begun for a constitution that would allow Pakistan to become a republic, and end its dominion status under the English monarchy. Nazimuddin's administration took place during a poor economy and the rise of provincial nationalism in four provinces and East Bengal which made him unable to run the country's affairs effectively. By 1951–52, the Muslim League had split into two different factions dominated by the Bengali chapter and Punjab Sindh chapter, as those were the two largest ethnic demographics, but were separated by India. In 1951, Prime Minister Nazimuddin's government conducted the country's first nationwide census where it was noted that 57% population of the country was Indian immigrants, mostly residing in Karachi that further complicated the situation in the country. In January 1952, Prime Minister Nazimuddin publicly announced in Dhaka's meeting that, Jinnah had been right, for the sake of Pakistan's national unity, Urdu must be the official language of Pakistan East and West. On 21 February 1952, a demonstration in the Bengali language movement demanding equal and official status to the Bengali language turned bloody, with many fatalities caused by police firings. This demonstration was held when he declared Urdu the national language of Pakistan, following the previous statement of Muhammad Ali Jinnah that Urdu shall be one and only language of Pakistan. In 1953, a violent religious movement led by far right Jamaat e Islami began to agitate for the removal of the Ahmadi religious minority from power positions, and demanded a declaration of this minority as non Muslims. Nazimuddin was held morally responsible for riots being spread and resisted such pressures, but mass rioting broke out in in Punjab against both the government and followers of this religious minority. Prime Minister Nazimuddin responded to the violence by dismissing the chief minister of Punjab, Mumtaz Daltana, to Faraz Khan Noon, but the decision came late. He declared martial law and enforced through Lieutenant General Azam Khan who successfully quelled the agitation. <laughs> Dismissal The agitations and violence spread through the successful Bengali language movement and the riots in Lahore proved the inability of Prime Minister Nazimuddin's government as he was widely seen as weak in running the government administration. In a view of attempting to improve the economy and internal security, Governor General Malik Ghulam asked Prime Minister Nazimuddin to step down in the wider interest of the country. Prime Minister Nazimuddin refused to oblige and Governor General Malik Ghulam used reserve powers granted in the Government of India Act, 1935, dismissed Prime Minister Nazimuddin. Nazimuddin then requested the Supreme Court of Pakistan's intervention against this action but the Chief Justice, Mot Munir did not rule on the legality of the dismissal, but instead forced new elections to be held in 1954. 
Governor General Malik Ghulam appointed another Bengali politician, Muhammad Ali Bogra, who was then tenuring as the Pakistan ambassador to the United States, as the new Prime Minister until the new elections to be held in 1954. The dismissal of Sir Khawaja Nazimuddin's administration, the Prime Minister, by the Governor General Malik Ghulam, signalled a troubling trend in political history of the country. Death and legacy <laughs> Later life and death Even after his dismissal, he and his family remained active in parliamentary politics. His nephew, Khwaja Wasudin, an army general serving as GOC in C Second Corps and later repatriated to Bangladesh in 1974. His younger brother, Shahabuddin, remained active in the politics and eventually ascended as information minister in the President Ayub Khan's administration. Sir Khawaja died in 1964, aged 70. He was buried at Mausoleum of Three Leaders in his hometown of Dhaka. He is considered a betrayer by Bengalis as he called the language movement protesters communists. <laughs> Wealth and honours Nazimuddin and his brother, Shahabuddin, belonged to an aristocrat wealthy family who were known for their wealth. In thesis written by Hoya Chatterjee, Nazimuddin was described for unquestionable loyalty to British administration in India. Short statured with a bulging pear-like figure, he was known for his insatiable appetite and his unfailing submission to the Britishers Dressed in British-styled sherwani and breeches like churidar pajamas with a fez cap and wearing little shoes, he carried a cane of knob and represented an age and tradition. By 1934, the family had estates that covered almost 200,000 acres and was well spread over seven districts of eastern Bengal, together with Shillong and Assam with an yearly rent of 120,000 liras $2,736,497.94 in 2017. By 1960s, the majority of estate was relocated from East Pakistan to the different areas of Pakistan, leaving very little of his estate in East. He was appointed a Companion of the Order of the Indian Empire in 1926, and was knighted in 1934 by the King Emperor, George V, when he was appointed a Knight Commander of the Order of the Indian Empire KCIE. by the Government of Pakistan. Nazimuddin has been honoured from time to time after his death. In Karachi, the residential areas, Nazimabad and North Nazimabad in suburbs of Karachi, had been named after his name. In Islamabad, there is a road intersection, Nazimuddin Road, that has been named in his honour, while in Dhaka, there is also a road after his namesake. In his honour, the Pakistan Post issued a commemorative stamp in accordance to his respect. See also List of Prime Ministers of Pakistan Politics of Pakistan Notes <inaudible> <inaudible> <inaudible>